Let's jump over to our man, Teddy Kegstad. Every trading day, folks, you can reach Teddy at forex-trading-unlock.com. We talk to Teddy every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. We talk a little forex. We talk a little commodities. Teddy Kegstad, good morning. Good morning. We got a lot to talk about today. Boy, it seems like every week, man, we got big action happening between Wednesday and Wednesday when we talk, Teddy. Um, quite the markets we have across the board. Where do you want to kick things off, man? Um, well, why don't we start with the uh, the oil market? So we have Ooh. oil that made a little bit higher move high today. It's pretty much unchanged on the day. So I think you're going to keep on seeing this, you know, pressuring on resistance and trying to break out to the upside. I believe that that trend is going to stay intact, you know, right now with everything that's going on globally. Boy, it's it's a pretty remarkable trend, man. Uh, Eighty five seventy four. I got light sweet crude up here, and you're actually above now, Teddy. Uh, you know where you were in terms of October highs, November highs. Mm -hmm. Quite the surges <clears throat> from sixty two bucks. Put it on, you know, a weekly. No matter what you put it on, man, it's like this thing is just going through the roof right now. I go back five years where it highs, but you got to back mm -hmm. it up to that monthly. And seems like all but considered, next stops a hundred. I mean, you're going back into on my chart. I have it up on a monthly Teddy right now, going okay. back to geez, 1999. But that sure. fall off in 2014, where things really went from 107 bucks uh, mm -hmm. a barrel down to 52 as in we're basically in that land now that we haven't seen those prices since we were there and it seems like right. we might run up i mean on my chart you know being a mm -hmm. technical trader to some degree seems like next stops 100 bucks man as you're through everything that stands in its way right the technicals and the fundamentals are definitely pushing that way it's hard to be a bear you know so yeah. that's for sure so yeah. um but uh, why don't we we'll talk about how that's going to influence a couple of the currency markets as we bounce around the forex world. Um, I think the biggest news, though, I don't know if you're aware of it. I just saw the video. Um, Boris Johnson's speech about the whole uh, removal of all mask mandates is going to be huge. Um, okay. It starts tomorrow. So the British pound probably is getting a little leg up right now on the against the dollar from that news. I mean, most okay. people probably haven't heard it yet. Um, I yeah. watched the speech. It was pretty amazing. Like and the uh, ovation in parliament, parliament and the people screaming when they heard the mass mandate is ending as of tomorrow. So, okay. I mean, you could, they, they still say you should wear it and blah, blah, blah. But they said sure. there's no more persecution and whatever. And the biggest thing he said, all kids go to school, no mass. All people okay. go back to work. Don't work from home go back sure. to work. So that's big. They want to jumpstart their economy. They yeah. want to throw the UK back and they're like, hey, Omicron's over. They're like, we got to live with it. We're moving on. You know, I yeah. mean, Japan, Japan did it in December. The UK now, remember, the UK is not part of the EU anymore. This is, sure. You're not getting this narrative from the EU. You're getting the complete opposite still. Yeah. You know, I mean, Germany yeah. is still a hard line. You know, Italy is very hard line, you know. Yes. So um, now the question is, is this going to keep on it's good. You're seeing it more and more. I mean, Mexico lifted their mandate on um, COVID uh, requirements. So now you can go to and from Mexico just like you can travel in the U.S. now. They don't care. OK. You know, so now this is yeah. big for the economies, you know, and this gets back to the currencies. So the dollar right now, we had a big bounce on Friday for a lot of the um, currencies with the versus the dollar, meaning dollar strength. Like when we talked last week. The yen was pretty strong. It got hit hard over the past few sessions after we spoke. You know. Yes. Yep. So, I got and it you know, there. you yeah. know, I've been, you know, I've been long for a while. You know. So, um, but uh, now it's 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 coming back. You know, and dollar strength. We had a lot of buy signals <clears throat> and sell signals in ver ver various currencies. So when the dollar index on Friday set a uh, buy signal, that also touched off the euro, which was then giving it, you know, a sell signal, and then we had it in the pound. Okay. So now that was coming into into play now i think this news with the uk could put the brakes on this on this move with the uh british pound so the british okay. pound could become a very raging bull in the long term you know so in fact i can give you i'll give you guys a price target on that one gbp usd um so right now we have a little bit of a reversal going like i was looking for it to correct down to the 134.51 area 133.83 area but with this okay. news with this new news, this could totally change everything. Okay, so today's close, if we see the British pound US dollar continue to press through resistance today and settle where it's at now or a little higher, if we get follow through over the next couple of days, I think you're gonna see a big, big, big change in the momentum of that currency. I mean, I'm right now looking at it as to be bearish right now, not bullish, you know, but this news I think is gonna change everything around. So I'd be very cautious if you're a short the British pound US dollar, be very mindful of the high from last week, because if we get above that, 
long term, I think that's a big significant tone on what's going to happen with the pound versus the dollar. Now, this won't be the same for the euro US dollar. I think the euro is going to be a totally different place. So where the pound is going to probably be strong, we're not going to see it in the euro. The Swiss, I think, is really going to stay choppy for the next like week or so on this news, too. You know, now with the US dollar yen, especially with oil riding the highs, which also supports the pound. I think that the U.S. dollar yen trade probably is going to continue to get a pop because I don't know if you watched the 10 year and the 30 year over the past couple of days, but especially yesterday, they hammered the lows. Yeah. You know, they're pretty much unchanged today. So but this is this is a big deal, you know, as far as the currency pricing. Remember, we talked about a couple of weeks ago, I said that I think that we're going to start to see a lot of divergence in the Forex markets where the dollar index is no even though I think the dollar is overall a versus many currencies not versus like the pound now I think the pound has okay. a potential with because of the narrative that's going on now you know what I mean so sure. and, and that's where I think we're looking at a, a totally we're coming into this fluctuation part part so any of your people that are out there that are trading the forex markets be mindful of the trends some of them may get disrupted we may start to see a turn where long term I was looking for you know uh, the pound euro at least to be pretty much sideways you know and maybe not necessarily lower but not a bull now I'm reversing my whole like thought process on it because between the you know interest rates what you'd think would have neutralized the oil effect with the pound but now that they're lifting mandates and that everyone's going to go back to work and they're going to be firing on all cylinders that's a big deal they're going to open up all the factory everything's going back online as of tomorrow you know like that's major major news so there are all sure. the economic numbers are going to change over the next couple of months you know and you got to remember england the uk is one of the epicenters for forex trading you know the yeah. pound is one of the biggest traded currencies out there don't think that these currency traders nice. in the uk as of today are being like whoa we got to change our whole <laughs> perspective on the different crosses with the pound versus the yen the pound versus the dollar pound versus the euro etc cetera, etc cetera. you know so it um, is it is pretty yeah. cool man you make great points i was just going to jump in and say because I, I was thinking about this morning today i was reading an article about china in general and just their whole approach to zero covid cases and how that's kind of come back to bite them um, with Omicron and the spread and how they can't contain it. And now they're dealing with mm -hmm. problems that they don't have any type of, you know, immunity, their vaccines are not as effective. And now they're trying to contain it and they can. And it just made me think of how countries are going to come out of this. And like, for instance, China was so ahead of the curve early on, right? They just right. basically took everyone's freedom, locked it down, got rid of COVID and tried to live without it. Now, Turns out, as many people said, you can't really do that because we're going to have to live with it. And so that right. just made me start thinking, like you're saying, where we're and I'm, you know, you know, we're in Florida, man. And mm -hmm. I don't agree with a lot of what Florida did. But the cool part is, mm -hmm. is that it's almost hard for me to understand some of the lockdowns still going on in the country and especially overseas, sure. man. We talked about Australia, stuff like that. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, it's time to come out of this, man. We're two years right. into it. Right. So yeah, it'd be interesting absolutely. to see what absolutely. country comes out how and how that fares, man. Well, Teddy, I appreciate the update as always, man. That was a great take. We'll watch that pound and uh, right. we'll talk to you next week. As always, man. Take care. Thanks a lot. You too, Teddy. Take care. Thanks so much. Folks, check them out every trading day. Forex-trading-unlock.com. We'll be right back. Finish up the show.